Hey, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on exponential equations. This video says sketch the graphs of 2 to the x and 3 to the x on the same coordinate plane. Now to do these graphs, I would like to um, just create a table of values. I always feel that that's a useful way to approach something like this. Uh, so I'm also going to save a little bit of space by creating my x's here. I'm going to do lots of stuff. Um, I'm going to have 2 to the x here, and then I'm going to have 3 to the, I don't know how much space I'm going to need. 2 to the x here. I'm going to start at negative 3. So 2 to the negative 3 is actually 1 over 2 cubed, which is 1 over 8. Sorry. Yep. Which is 0 0.125. That's how much space I need. I'll do a little bit less with 3 to the x. This is going to be 3 to the negative 3, which is 1 over 3 cubed, which is 1 over 27, which in decimal form is beyond what we can grab. Negative 2, I'll try to write a bit smaller. 2 to the negative 2 is 1 over 2 squared, which is 1 fourth, which is 0 0.25. 3 to the negative 2 is 1 over 3 squared, which is 1 ninth, which is actually 0 0.1 repeat. I'm going to decimal because honestly, it's a little bit easier to graph decimals. Negative 1 is 2 to the negative 1, which is 1 half or 0 0.5. 3 to the negative 1 is 1 third or 0 0.3 repeat. 0, 2 to the 0 is 1. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. 1, 2 to the 1 is 2. 3 to the 1 is 2. No, it's 3. I was kidding. 2, 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. 3, 2 cubed is 8. 3 cubed is, again, outside the scope of what I can graph on a grid that only goes up to 10. Okay. So I'm now going to do one at a time. Uh, let's see. Negative 3, 1 eighth or 0.125 is about there. And then a quarter and then a half and then one. And then we're at two. And then we're at four. And then we're at eight. So this is y equals to the x. For the other one, let's see, we have 1 27th, 1 3rd, 1 9th, 1 3rd, 1, 3, 9. This is y equals 3 to the x. So you'll notice that the bigger your factor, that's what this is called, what your, um, when you have y equals a to the x, that a is your factor. The bigger the factor is, the faster it explodes up in your first quadrant. And 2 and 3 are relatively small numbers, and you can already see the separation we have. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks!